guys. I just wanted to give you a quick note about your reading assignment today, the lion and the mouse. So for the lion and the mouse assignment, I'm going to read it really quickly. It says, how does the lion feel about the mouse at the beginning of the fable? How does he feel by the end? What lesson did the lion learn? And what does this fable try to teach? Boys and girls, when it says, how does the lion feel about the mouse at the beginning of the story? I want you to remember what we talked about when we talked about feelings. Now, there's a way that you can feel inside of your heart and there's a way that you can feel in your body. So as far as your heart, you could feel sad. You could feel surprised, excited, disturbed, bewildered. You could feel all of these feelings inside of your heart, not your real heart. You know what I mean? but you feel different things inside of your body. I might feel sick. <coughs> oh no, don't cough like that. <coughs> I might feel cold. I might feel all sorts of things, but there's a difference between how I feel in my heart versus how I feel in my body. When you think about how the lion felt about the mouse at the beginning of the fable, how did he feel not in his body? Maybe he felt hungry in his body, but is that how he was feeling inside of his heart? How is he feeling inside of his heart at the beginning and at the end? And the cool thing about it is, if you can figure out how your character felt at the beginning versus how they felt at the end, you usually can find out the lesson. If he was happy at the beginning and sad at the end, then you can think to yourself, hmm, what made him sad? Or if he was um, angry at the beginning and joyful at the end, you can think, well, wow, what made that character change his mind? Well, I'm not giving you the answer to the lion and the mouse. I want you to figure it out yourself. If you've already done your assignment, just take a second and uh, look over your answers. You can always change it. You can always edit your assignment. Talk to you later. Have a good day.